Um, so basically, I wanted to write a love poem, but I wanted it to be cool. So <laughs> I put dinosaurs in it. Um, so this is a poem called Dinosaur Love. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff like I'll always have your back or I'm glad I'm not alone. Or to be honest, I'd say anything so you'll hang up the phone because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now and these Doctor Who box sets ain't gonna watch themselves. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff. And all I'm really trying to say is... <laughs> I want to love you like a T-Rex with a tiny brain but a massive heart. And if it was a T-Rex, I could hold you in my T-Rex arms and protect you from harm because that's dinosaur love. It's the way that you send spines down my spine like a stegosaurus. Or how just like dinosaurs, no one cares what came before us because I got that love so big it cannot be ignored. Like if you were the dinosaur, everything else seems secondary. Dinosaurs are not mythical creatures. They are legendary plus. They're just really cool. <laughs> The thing with dinosaurs is dinosaurs are kind of awesome. More than that, they actually existed. Yes, my love is real. I ain't talking blindly walking strings attached like Theseus. That's minor to a love. <laughs> when this is dinosaur love, this ain't no damsel in distress, trap princess, dragon slaying quest, because one, dragons never happen. Two, most women don't need rescuing. Feminist dinosaurs. <laughs> This is less prancing unicorns, more two-ton triceratops or terrifying pterodactyls tearing terror from above. It's dinosaur love, molten rock in a meteorite. Trust me, oh, I got a love so old school, it's prehistoric. So if you're into Spielberg or hip hop with a classic vibe, then we could watch Jurassic Park or listen to Jurassic Five. And if you like a bone, then I know a place so we could see them. I'm a lifetime member of the Natural History Museum. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough because actually, like dinosaurs, that can be quite scary. Imagine hiding in the kitchen with a Velociraptor packer if I stuck my neck out like a diplodocus. What would you do back? Because I've got love for you like dinosaurs. But the thing with those kind of thoughts is they're probably slightly more amazing in my head. <laughs> because if dinosaurs did come back to life, one of them might maim a politician's wife, and then the government of said politician's countries plus allies would implement worldwide protection of mankind and politics would annihilate dinosaurs on sites and mass extinction. Isn't that romantic? <laughs> I want to say I love you, but that might be awkward. So instead, I'm happy to let that stay in my head where it cannot go wrong. And if as time goes on, my dino love dies out as you'd expect when it's extinct, I'd rather that we remain friends than became exes. But if somehow, against the odds, my dino love proves so colossal that it stands the test of time, perfectly preserved like a fossil. Then one day, when you've been left in ruins and need someone to help excavate through, it won't take an archaeological expert to point you towards me. And at that point, I point out, you're like a brachiosaurus. Because there's no one above you. Then I'll be able to look you in the eyes and say, Roar! Cheers. <laughs>